check out the account name. All in all, you can only sign into your account if you enter the account name correctly. In the case that you mess up the account name, that Microsoft account doesn't exist. Enter a different account or get a new one is the consequence. In the beginning, you should take a look at the account name and determine whether its spelling is correct. If you have trouble recalling the account name for certain, go to Settings, Accounts, Email and Accounts. Also, it won't hurt to make sure that the account is not provided by your schools, workplaces. Such an account cannot be used to connect to Microsoft services in most of the cases. Clear cache. In Chrome. Step 1. Select the three-dot icon, choose Settings, and hit Privacy and Security. Step 2. Tap Clear Browsing Data, click Basic, then pick All Time and Time Range. Step 3. Check the checkboxes next to cookies and other website data, as well as images and files stored in cache, then hit Clear Data in Firefox. Step 1. Select the three-line icon and choose Settings. Step 2. Click Privacy and Security, then pick Clear Data in Cookies and Site Data. Step 3. See how things turn out. In Edge. Step 1. Select the three-line icon and choose Settings. Step 2. Click Privacy, Search, and Services, then pick Choose What to Clear. Step 3. Check the checkboxes next to cached images and files as well as cookies and site data. Step 4. Hit Clear Now. Create a new Microsoft account. Step 1. Launch your browser, visit https joshaccount.microsoft.com, select Sign In and choose Create One. Step 2. Enter your email address, then hit Next. If you'd like to create a new email address, click Get a new email address, type your preferred email address, and pick Next. Alternatively, you could select Use a phone number instead, enter your phone number, and choose Next. Step 3. Enter your preferred password, then hit Next. Step 4. A verification code will be sent to either your email or phone number. Read the code, enter it, and hit Next. Step 5. Follow the on-screen instructions to wrap up the process and use your new Microsoft account.